that little crater in there. Um, use your finger uh, as, you're, as you're pulling it up, push down right there. And then see the center comes out? Now you can tell that center wasn't really centered. So anything, you know, whatever, that's just that was like an aside. All right, so when you bring your clay down, this finger is right here. And you, over here is a good place to view. And if you want to get up and over, that's fine. Um, you might want to move that. Okay, so again, it's, the clay is coming around here. I'm catching it here. When I push down like this, my hand is keeping that from making that dome thing. That dome. I'm not letting that go anywhere. I center kind of fast, but it's better, I think, to center fast than. I think I'm, I'm just going to practice that up and down, up and down, just for a and while. And I'm squeezing, and then my uh, my intention is first. My hands are always touching. My hands are always, always touching. Um, and my intention when I do this, it's really like right down here. I'm using th these two fingers a lot, and even this one, as I'm scooping that in. And as it's coming up, I'm just sort of following it up. And my my motion is really just in because it has no place to go but up when you when you squeeze your hands together when you make your hands come over just sort of pushing it down and I think pushing it you know over like that I don't know some people push it way over uh, you know that's not the best. I just so your it left hand is pushing center. it towards huh? your left hand is always pushing towards your right mm -hmm. hand how do you know when it's centered? Like what? Yeah. when it stops wobbling around like that, like right, you know, you can feel that it's. it's oh, again, the same thing. Yeah. And now you can even see where, um, where my hand is touching. So it's really it's over this way just a little bit. Um, watch, I don't. Know, I threw it off center. Probably talking and um, up and down is good. Uh, Still can you do it up and down too many times? Um, I think you can add too much water to anything, you know. And then particularly, there's a there's a bit down there that I'm I'm gonna let it go. Um, so there it is, right there. There's a big wad, a big lump. I'm gonna um, ignore it and try to fix it later, since we were talking. So I'm just pushing straight down. With two feet, okay. Yeah, right. you can, you know, you can push with one, with two, with the thumb. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, it's it's a, all of this is are just, um, they're like. Um, personal preference. Personal preference, yeah. I'm going to show you how to do it. How it gets done is your job, you know. Everybody's got a little bit, you know, different, you know, what's comfortable, what mm -hmm. works, what doesn't, you know, I can't, I don't understand it that way, or it doesn't compute in my head that mm -hmm. way, and it's, you know. So I've um, stuck the needle tool in, I'm going to go down until I touch the bottom of the pot with the tip of my finger, and I know that that's how deep, that's how thick the bottom is right now. Okay. Is that too thick? Um, not for, no. It's, it, um, if I was going to, if I was planning on, um, trimming this and making a big foot ring um, it would be too thin I would actually want it to be a little thicker because I want to have something to play with um, so you can feel it uh, a in there. I'm gonna ignore it um, <laughs> so I'm always compressing the rim and you can throw I don't know I, I always change kind of change up how I throw I'm just squeezing my fingers mm -hmm. together. Okay. My my hands are on the mm -hmm. inside, just holding a space. All the and, way to the bottom. Are uh, the yeah. Bottom? Okay. Yeah. And then this is theoretically going way down and scooping all of this clay up. And mm -hmm. you know, to do that, you can just push down straight to the um, bat, and it mm -hmm. will, you know, you'll lose some, but 
generally speaking, it'll move up in there. And I'm just gonna make a couple passes, like I'm not putting a lot of pressure on, I'm really just kind of corralling that, um, that clay. And you use the sponge on the top just to smooth it? Um, or, it's, or? I'm compressing the, um, the, the rim. Uh, you don't want your, you don't want any of your pieces to have like a sharp edge. Oh, gotcha. It's gonna, it'll, right. it's just a place to chip. Sometimes it's cool to have a nice edge for the glaze to fall off of if there's a to break on, it's called. Uh, my ring is gonna get in the way. Um, okay, so now I'm pushing I'm right down on the bat again. Um, I'm gonna, I'm throwing with this part of my finger and my knuckle is right down on the bat because I wanna get all that clay. I'm not really pushing a lot on the inside right now. I'm. My intention is to, and I'm not, at this point, I'm really not pulling anything. I am, I'm pulling a little, I'm pulling, and that's what it does. But I'm not actually physically like pulling up the clay. I'm pushing, I'm pushing my hands together and I'm, I'm kind of, I let it go. I, as soon as I push it together, the clay gets thinner there and, and, and then I feel it and, and you, you, you feel it, and you feel it moving up and you just sort of follow that up and, and as you're as you're doing this in one smooth motion, it's the clay is coming around. It's getting thinner here, and now it's getting thinner here, and now it's getting thinner here and here and here. And I'm trying to keep my hands of equal equal distance apart the whole time. Um, and that's about it's a it's like how do you tell when the turkey is done? There's a lot of ways. The way it smells, the way it looks, the way it feels, you know, when you stick something in there. The red thing pops. What the red thing says. <laughs> you know, yeah. red thing. All right, so um, I'm going to, what are we making here? I didn't really talk about that. It's like a vase. A vase. Oh. Like a vase. All right, so the, um, so the bottom, there's way too much water in there right now. Um, it's just, it's a puddle in there. Okay. Um, it looks mostly like slurry. I don't use a lot of water, but it's slip. There's, there's wet in there. Nobody likes a wet bottom, so you just... <laughs> always taking it out and now I'm gonna go back and I'm compressing the bottom I'm doing kind of the same thing um, with the uh, with the rim notice my hands are touching mm -hmm. are you using your knuckles or your fingers? I'm using my fingertip and all I'm doing is I'm kind of going back and forth across there across. And That's what I was not doing from the right. center to the um, okay. from the center to the edge and it's just compressing it's the same is this I'm putting a little bit of pressure down and a little bit of pressure in and there's like a three-point um, thing then I can go back and you know smooth, smooth out the round you know round out the, the sharp edges and then I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna figure out where oh, it's really narrow right there so oh, it's a little thicker down here so I'm gonna go back and now, when you do that, you dribble the, the water onto your hand? It's a little bit, I'm, okay. you know, you can come in and splash it all over the place. I'm pretty precise where I put it because I know where I don't want it. Mm -hmm. um, but, it, so I'll let it kind of go right down right my down hand. Right down your hand, okay. And then it'll, chances are it ends up, you know, close to the pot. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and like I said, you can get right in there. Now I'm gonna, I'm putting a little pressure on the outside. You saw that lump and bump right there. Make a big old hog. Um, okay, so where that um, where that wobble was, that that lump down there at the bottom. I'm gonna go in, and since I don't have mine, I'm gonna use yours. Keep your tools wet. Don't touch your, uh, same as your hands, don't touch your pot with a drum, with a dry tool. I'm gonna go back in and maybe make a little swirl in there just to piss off the real potters out there. <laughs> oh, you put your swirl in the bond? Sometimes, yeah. Well, it's just a mark. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and I'm holding it on a 
45 degree angle to the um, to the bat and to the pot. Um, so it's not this way. It's this way, and I'm gonna this compresses the edge, helps form it. I turned it. Mm -hmm. That's because of the curve? The, yeah, I'm just following that curve down. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Mm -hmm. um, somebody is allowed me to say something. The clip is narrower than the Okay, so um, I'm going to, that where that lump is right down there, um, there's kind of a thin spot. Super basic way to trim this off. I'm holding the um, tool like a pencil. Um, it's wet. <laughs> and you could even, this one's got a little funky ridge on it. You could file that down, um, smooth it out. Um, hold it just like a pencil. I'm gonna go straight down. I'm gonna I want to follow. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm. I'm if you, if I were to cut that off the um, the wheel right now, it would look just like your Mine, your yeah. pots, mm -hmm. everybody's yep. pots. They, it comes down and it has this little flare, flare yeah. right here. So we want to get rid of the flare. Yeah. Hands like a pencil. I'm f and I'm imagining what that line looks like as it comes down. I'm I'm just like okay, because you can. It's got you can make it any, yeah, you can, I'm going to, I'm choosing to follow this, with this curves around, I'm choosing to follow that line down to, to go that. in a Instead little. Instead of, yeah, I'm going to go in a little, Still. I'm not going to go straight down okay. because I want the, you um, may want to maintain that shape? Yeah, I want to maintain the shape, I want the design of the, the piece to, to flow in, mm. in that manner, I don't want it to, you know, you can bring it, that's personal. to bully you, you know, it wants to, um, I use my needle tool on this too, I don't know why I do this, but this is what I do, and it's usually a lot faster, because, and I go back in, and you can go back in with this too, you can go just in, and lift that up, and then you come back and cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> right, so anyway, um, the idea is it goes down. And you're maintaining and with your, your your little finger. I it, does it that help you keep the distance the same? I'm everything I do. Um, I'm supporting and securing, stabilizing. Otherwise, that pound of clay right there is going to throw my big old mm. arms right off the. Um, like you saw it kind of bump in my hand as I was, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but no, I didn't. Um, as it's coming around, you can see that little bit right there where there's whatever, for, uh, it's something that's going to cause a problem later, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I just bring it down and you can come back and scoop it this way. When you do this, all right, it leaves a little lift under that um, pot so it doesn't look like it's just thunked down into the, um, like afterwards. So it... You, but it you also would gives do you that a at place. the end all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and it usually happens in, during trimming. And I'm going to throw one more pot so you can see it. And please edit the. Um, I will. Set.